Hi, she was seven. I'm back and I'm going to be speaking with Sean. Okay, Sean, she has her own mobile business, online shoe business. Um, she is really down to earth. She's a Pisces like me. And we met a few years ago at a, at a Halloween party and I did her reading and I've been doing a few of her readings, you know, over the years and I have her on the phone right now and we're going to talk about her life her lifestyle how she got what she got how she got to be here she's going to tell her story and you know how she you know got the man that she married so y'all want to um welcome Sean hi Sean how are you hi how are you doing hi I'm, my name is Sean I'm, uh, I'm currently living in Houston Texas Mm-hmm. But uh okay, so I have I am married got married it'll be July the twenty third, a year in July one year. But I've been with my spouse since two thousand and nine. Wow. But I'm gonna go back further than that. How did I meet him? Prior to me meeting him, I used to shoplift. You used to shoplift? Oh, yes, I shoplift. From state to state to state. Okay. I've been I've been locked up twice. I've been to the penitentiary twice. So it was hard for me to keep a job because I wasn't like didn't want nobody telling me nothing, or nothing like that. But I, I really had a bad shot at the head. No drugs, no drugs at all. Only money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you needed that money, but you didn't want to yes. work for it. <laughs> yes, I needed the money. So it wasn't no drugs at all. But uh. I want to pass money. All my life, I've been wanting to get fast money. I think I had two jobs in my life. We literally had two jobs in my life. My kids, we never lived in the projects. Never, never lived in the projects. I always had homes. My mom was a nurse. My dad had gas. So I left home at 16. Had a baby at 16. My mom adopted my daughter. But she still called me mom. Mm -hmm. Like, going forward. I got in trouble. I was like, 2017, 18, I went to the penitentiary uh, at 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. The first time I was young, I went to the penitentiary. I did three years, not flat, but they gave me three years sentence for a shoplifting. And when I got out, I still was shoplifting. And I went back when I was 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I had a, then I met my, uh, I met a guy, had a baby from my, about two kids, I had a baby from him. He's now passed, he was married. I married him 11 years prior to his past, my son's dad. And I met another, I met another guy, and I was with him for 15 years. Mm -hmm. After my husband passed, I got into another relationship. I was with this guy for 15 years. And this guy didn't want anything. He was dragging me down, and I always made money. And I just see that he was just like, I don't know, like, he wasn't good for my spirit. This one wasn't good right. for my spirit, too. But it took me 15 years. 10 years. 10 years. So I got he, out of it. So he was dragging you down, yeah, and you got out. Down. It was, you know, but I, he never had a job, but I found him a job. He was smoking weed, had to piss for him. I did that, and he did with in the return. He did give me his whole paycheck. He mm -hmm. did do that, but mentally in the relationship, it was nothing there. Nothing right. There. I think he felt like he owed me. He felt like he owed me because I took him out the bottoms mm -hmm. and made him shine. Mm -hmm. I never had a job like I said. I had two jobs in my life. Two. Then, um, like since I've been with him, I was still stealing. And I went to jail again, but I did three months. Mm -hmm. This time I didn't go back to the penitentiary. I did three months in the county. Then after that, when I got out, I cried and I cried and I cried. I was going to take the taste out of my mouth, move this man out of my life. But I wasn't doing that because of him. I don't want to you know, take a blame for my own self. Because mm -hmm. I had that, uh, that was coming for me. That's what I was used to doing. That's all I knew. Mm -hmm. How to get my money was bad. Mm -hmm. And, um, when I went to uh, jail that last time, when I came home, he didn't give me the check no more. He left a bad tape in my mouth. He switched up on me. Mm -hmm. So, at 
said, I'm looking for uh, being consistent. He was not consistent. So I left him. I moved in my own condo. And then I was doing drugs, traffic, trafficking, drug trafficking. Mm -hmm. To make money. And my cousin, she said, I got a million dollars mix for you. And and I think, oh no, she just kidding me. Say yes, I got a million dollar lick for you. She said, oh go, don't go, don't go. I seen snakes. She dreamed snakes. Okay, I mm -hmm. went anyway. But since I'm spiritual, I was protected, right? Mm -hmm. But the police did come. The police did come after them. Mm -hmm. But I, they didn't get us. <laughs> they didn't get us. But there was an eye opening for me. Mm -hmm. So I called her back and told her, I said, you was right, cousin. So she gave me the number, she said, you need to go. So and this guy, he was uh, 20 years older than me. And he's a Caucasian, mm -hmm. and I'm black. Mm -hmm. And he said, I said, I called him over one day. I said, can I come to your house? He said, no. I said, I'm already in your driveway. <laughs> <laughs> you just popped up. Yeah, I'm already in your driveway, right? And he said, uh, and I was over there, I went there, and he was, he was sickly, mm -hmm. and I got him well, and my condo, he wants to check for about three, three, three months, three, three months for my condo. He paid and your condo up for three months? He wrote me a check for me. He said, that's for my son, three months, and my condo's right. You know, uh, and it was Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. My family met him, May 2009, Mother's Day. And he said, well, you, I don't pay rent. I was going to say, I got some condos on the wall because you can live in. So I packed up. I packed up. <laughs> so he gave you a condo? <laughs> yes. But he stayed there with me. He okay. was like that. He stayed there with me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he had a big house, you know, and he, he stayed there with me at the condo. So and we, we started there with two bedrooms, and then he had four, he had three. Three condos on the water. And then we moved to the three bedroom. We we'll probably stayed there for about two years or three years. And he said, no, go look for a house, baby. Go look for a house. I'm not used to this. I was looking for a house like maybe 150000 you know, some small three bedroom, too bad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he wasn't interested. <laughs> That's not, not good enough. <laughs> no, he wanted a house. I'm thinking, okay, if something happened to him, I got to do that lame thing. So I wanted something small, and I'm scary on top of that. So the real estate agent said this house was a three-story with a pool on the water, on the bayou, on the canal. Three-story okay. on, on Three the water? Story. With five a pool? Five baths, full of baths, yeah. Wow. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. But I was literally scared. Cause it was like a dream. I'm like, I'm in a dream. Like, that's what really happened. <laughs> so we get a bath. He purchased a home. Nice. And we added on different stuff to the house and stuff like that. So he, my first car was an X6 BMW. Your first, first car, car was a BMW? Yes, X6 BMW, 2009. <laughs> so my first um, luxury car mm -hmm. ever in my life, 2009 ever. You know, brand BMW luxury. And um, I did some stuff. I had no business doing. I started money laundering his money. You started laundering? La 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 money laundering his money. Okay. Spilling. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm used to. Right? So I didn't appreciate what I had at all, ladies. I did not, as as I did not appreciate what I had. I got a little ratchet. You got a little ratchet? <laughs> yes, a little ratchet. And then, so he was, we was going to separate. You know, we were married. We was going to separate. He gonna take me to court, and you know, file charges on me and this and that. But some turned his spirit around, and we worked it out. And uh, I said, I won't do it no more. But he took my cars from me. He took my X6 from me, gave it to his son. He took my van and locked it up. My local boutique, he locked it up mm -hmm. in his chain of the Lord. And I had another little van. He gave it to his brother. He gave one to his son. He locked the business van up. So you couldn't yeah. even make money that way? No, I could not. And, and I had no way to make no means to make no money. So I was down at my lowest point in my, in my life. And then I asked him, did anybody buy me a Cadillac, a two-door Cadillac? Mm -hmm. He didn't leave me dry, not walking, but he just downgraded my ass. <laughs> so 
downgraded to a Cadillac. Yeah. So I got downgraded. So, so I said, oh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You get back there. You're going to give me something better. Blah, blah, blah. You'll give me something better. So then we went to the auction. And I've seen a car that I like. It was a convertible 650i BMW. 2009. It was an older model, but it was nice. You know, and he said, bid on it, bid on it. I bid on it. And got that car cash, right? He paid cash for that car. Nice. Uh-huh. And so I rode around in that. It was a Spanish ship. I didn't know a Spanish ship, and I haven't broke a Spanish in so long. So after that, two more years later, I'm like, oh, I messed with the country. So he got upset. So he said, I, I can't drive this or whatever, right? So we took it to Mercedes, traded it in for a 550. Mm-hmm. Mercedes. That's what I'm driving currently. A 550 Mercedes. But he asked me, what did I want to do? I'm kind of skipping. But he asked me, what did I want to do? And I told him about my business. I want to do shoes, heels, heels, on wheels. But I started off at car. Then I graduated to a rental van. Mm-hmm. And then I told him, I'm kind of climbing in the back of the van. Uh, then he went about that cash van. Mm-hmm. I said, but it was, it was you know, a cargo van. I said, I'm tired of climbing up in the back of the van. My back hurt, right? So he went with the Mercedes Sprinter side of the Mercedes, and it was, it was open. And uh, they said, what you want to do? And I told them what I want to do. Told the people in Mercedes what I want to do. And they sent me to Austin, and they did it. They did a build out inside the van in Austin. Nice. And I was on TV twice. The first mobile boutique in Texas. I saw that on, like, I saw... 39. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that in... Um, that's a Mercedes van, cargo van that you sell out yeah. of, right? And then your store is also online too, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I took it down because I can't keep up with it. Oh, okay. Because the reason I took it down because women don't know what size they wear. Right. I don't have the time. They got to so try it on. Yes. Right. So I, it's enough money here to make, you know, in right. town. And I drive to them. I've been to Atlanta in a van, Dallas, Louisiana. That's good. So, what made what made y'all two want to get married? Like, after y'all made it. He's getting old. He's getting old. He's getting old, so he didn't want to be alone? Mm-hmm. No. And he took it to the people to get a wheel. My wheel there. The mm-hmm. wheel is done. So, when he closed his eyes, I go straight to the bank. So, you in the wheel? Yes, basically. Do y'all have any life. prenups? Well, I don't mean to get in your business, but. <laughs> yes, I have. No, you're not getting in my business. I have a wheel. <laughs> Okay. So I got the cars, the house, the beach house, the four condos on the water. Mm-hmm. Got fifty percent of his business because he had one son that passed for part of day like three years ago. Oh no. He ever grew that? He ever not grew for that? Mm-hmm. And, but if not, no pictures are clean, ladies. You have to work on it. There's nothing easy. Anything look easy? It's not easy. It's not easy. I, I keep telling people, you know, um, it's a job too. Uh, uh, but he's, he's, he's my husband drank. He's a big bitch. So you already know the end of this story. He was bitching. So he know the end of 60 something years old. So you already know the end of this story. And he don't grieve. He put it all in the bottle. He what? Don't grieve. Grieve like after he grieved. But it's fine yet. Uh huh. He drank away. So he, he drank a lot. Yes. A lot. A lot. He didn't call out my name and blase. He didn't call out my name before. So, Ugly. but do you think it's worth it in the end? For me, it is because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> because you got what you wanted. Thank you. I got what I wanted. And for me, if, if it worked for me because if you do with anyone else, they broke and they treat you well, so. Right. They treat, no they treat you bad yeah, and you don't have nothing to show for it. So at least no. you have something to show for it. I mean, like you can do you can I, call me whatever you want. Just keep that money right. coming in, you know. But Okay, what do you say? Cuz I've been locked up twice. Right. I've been with the like, <laughs> like you can't do nothing to me, right? Um that's I mean, that's a good business head. I like to say that's a business mind. You mm-hmm. know, this is a business, you know. Of course you like you know the company y'all get along sometimes you know it's not all peaches and cream but you know what you wanted in life and you know you got it that's that's the you know that's what it's all about so i got some questions 
that some of these ladies well, are asking. Um, let okay, me, can I tell you this? Can I ask this? Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Me. I always had a vision. Me being, I said this all my life. I want a white man with an F-150. <laughs> I always said that. Right? And when I met him, he had a Dodge Ram. <laughs> oh, he didn't have the right truck. Oh, he had the right truck and he had a Dodge Ram. He had a Chevy. He had a Chevy. He had a Chevy. He had a Chevy. But it was okay. I dreamed it no sooner. I said it. I was up in little. Mm -hmm. I always picture myself on the water. The house that I pictured on the water when I was little, you know, we have visions. And I vision me like on the ocean, like my house at the end, you know, kind of like in California. Mm -hmm. Like when those houses were set up on top. And the ocean water, you hear the ocean water. So you were manifesting from a young age the lifestyle yes. that you wanted. You already knew what you wanted. Yes. Okay. I picture myself, I, always, I, drink, I daydream a lot. Well, I'm a Pisces, so I know I know the feeling. That's you know we but we'll follow through zone in a minute. And it ain't nothing bad. We like it's a good zone. Yeah, we like the lifestyle but we don't want to work for it. No, we don't. We wanna no, find the easiest way easy. to get what we want. And this is the easy way for me. <laughs> and we don't like another thing is like we got very strong, you know, abilities as far as intuition and, and, and things like that. So we know what path to follow when it's... It can't take me. Right. If I see it in my mouth, if I feel it, and sometimes I don't think I feel it, I just like, where this come from? And like, like, I seen somebody the other day, and they were like, I said, oh, she can go get high or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And the guy said, oh my God, how you know that? How you do that? Like, oh my God, something is scary. Like, mm -hmm. I just say, blow off my tongue. I'm like, whoa. Sometimes it's scary. Mm -hmm. If we feel it, we don't like you. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be ugly towards you. We're gonna back away. We're gonna fish away, swim away. Mm -hmm. from, from, from. Yep, that's true. Do, oh. do you do that a lot? Yep. I like. I don't deal with certain people, and yeah. some people I I, I find very um, interesting, and some people I won't even like make eye contact with. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Me neither. But, and I, I think it's sad when people think they're bougie. And, more, and better than someone because I can't act that way. Cause my money, my money say I can do that, but I don't be out there buying my grand bag. I'm just ready. I go to the retail shop, mm -hmm. lady. Mm -hmm. I go to the retail retail shop. Yep. I love vintage stuff. I love the vintage. But for some reason, I always see myself like in a house with the big columns on it. Mm -hmm. I want to go to one of them houses and go we battle. The picture and go be the one the slave house. For some reason, I don't know where they come from. But I need to ask you about that later on, on another chapter. But I don't, what, I don't know. I just want to go visit the house. I want to go. You know, they got a tour, and I, I, I did yes. the tour there in Louisiana, and it's very interesting, but, you know, you, you might get a little mad. <laughs> no, not really. Because, uh, like, you know, like I say, I can't handle this. Right. I'm going to count my money at the end. When you're in a burn, right. I'm going to count my money, so. Right. But, you know, it's... <laughs> It's nice. The, the, they're very nice, and I think it's something you should do. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't get mad about that. No, I'm not. I'm not that petty because you know there was somebody that was, cause somebody took that lick for us. Now that's why I'm getting my money. Right. But, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. That's how I look at the story. That's how I look at my story. Yeah. Because your daddy was, because your daddy was president. Your daddy was real president, and they didn't want me with the money. They don't want the black. I'm sorry. They don't want the black with the money. Mm -hmm. So, hey, and I'm here. Right. Now you, now you're going to get that money pay. back. Like you getting that That's money right the back. <laughs> now you putting it back in your family. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> that will make a good movie. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I'm doing. I always say that. This is for my ancestors. Right. Hello. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I got, I got, can I ask you a question now that somebody asked me yes. to ask? Yes, now you ask me questions about your panel. Okay, um, okay, so how did the relationship start and what attracted him to, to you or whatever? Yeah. The relationship started by a referral of how to start bad again, but uh, bad. Mm hmm. And the first, in the first part eight, this is the first beginning of it, mm -hmm. it was hard. It was horrible. Do you hear me? Horrible. It was a bozo of the clown drinking. Mm hmm Just didn't care. Out of control. Whining out of control. Driving. Look at this on your truck. It was horrible. 
So how did how did uh like how did he tell you he liked you? Yes, I told you down. Mm-hmm. You still like all that, but you tone down it. Right. Got on the street driving and crazy, you know all that, none of that. Mm-hmm. But you're much older and you're mature, so you don't need all what you're drinking. Right. You don't need all. So how did he you tell you that he liked you? Like I, I want to be with you. I want you to be my woman. How did he tell you that? Because he had his parents was prejudiced. His dad was, you know what? His dad was prejudiced. Black women, but he couldn't really about his drink. He couldn't really with his daddy. What he would do, you know? Mm-hmm. The rich, the rich grandpa, the rich dad head of the company. You know, kind of like that. You know when they bring him home, like almost. Slave women. Mm-hmm. I was kind of living like that. So you just live with me, but you didn't marry me mm-hmm. until he passed. Until the daddy died. So he waited yeah. till his dad died to marry you. You hear what I said? Yes, mm-hmm. ma'am. Mm-hmm. So that was probably what I know I did not. So he always had a thing for black women. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that answers that question. Okay. So the next question somebody asked me to ask you is. Um, what things should you never say to a man with money to avoid messing up him paying for you? <laughs> well, I say it. You say it. Uh-huh. If I'm going to that money, you'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Is there I anything that you wouldn't say? I say, I say it. No, I say it. Because I, I just go, you know, it depends on, because my husband's down to earth. Mm-hmm. He's not no snooty patootie. Mm-hmm. You know, they got the which I don't know how to handle something like that. Maybe that's why he liked you, because you was real. Yeah, real, yes. Okay. I didn't fake it and shake it. I come in there with my nose turned up and all that. Because everybody coming in with their nose turned up, they be in last place. Right. They give nothing. They give nothing. Right. Because they, 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 them men like humble. They like humble. humble. Yes. They like humble women. And I would not be after no man with no fancy cars. Never, ever, never. Mm-hmm. No. Because they're going to be polishing on their cars. They're not going to care nothing about you. Nothing. So you go for the guy with money, but don't flash Don't it. look like it. Don't look like it. Oh, look that's like smart. It. You pass them up on the street. All right. <laughs> that's smart. Okay, this is the last question somebody asked. Um, did you ever feel like you didn't feel like you belong or couldn't be yourself or... What do you do to feel more confident when you're around like people with a lot of money? Oh no, I'm t- no, I still be myself. At first, when I started my business, I was scared to sell shoes to the white people. But as far as going, I had money like them, or probably more money than them. Mm-hmm. Cause he's not a millionaire; he's a multi. He's a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Let's, if you don't know what multi, that means more than one million. You're right. More than one, two, three. Mm-hmm. He's a multi. So and very, very chinchy, very, very chinchy. Purses and stuff like that. We don't do all that. So we don't do no, no big, uh, no big purses. We don't do no twenty, three hundred dollar bags. We don't do that, baby. We do not do it. We so, do hundred and fifty thousand dollar cars, but we don't do them bags like that. No so man. you got a hundred and fifty dollar car, but you re- shop regular. Yes. Okay. No the car. I picked up the car one nineteen. Mm hmm. Wow. And, we, and he got a uh, two, uh, 250 truck, which is $6,000. The home is half a million. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's worth more than that now. Mm-hmm. I have a boat in my back. I drive, I drive on my boat. I have a T-Bird, a 57 T-Bird. Oh, and yeah. I, I love that T. I saw that picture. Is that That's the pink uh, one? The pink one. <laughs> that's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But and stuff like that, you know. But we just, we regular. Right. We don't act like we can. We can go with the Hawaii. We go anywhere. We go to Bora Bora. Bora Bora is on one hour Bora Bora. Bora Bora. One hour. You're in a Bora Bora? Mm-hmm. That's the only list. Bora Bora. So there. I'd have been to China three times. China. How do you like that? It was dirty. But I enjoyed the stuff there. I love the uh, product. Love the product. Love, love, love. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's cool. Um, okay, now can I, I'm going to ask you my own questions that I came up with. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. 
Oh, you got questions. I got questions. Okay. So what what advice would you give someone who wants to marry up, marry well, so that they don't have to struggle and things like that? Don't ask nudie and chop off many of your friends you can get rid of. Get rid of most of your friends? And, and get rid of most of your friends. And don't ask snooty. Do not ask snooty. Why do they got to get rid of their friends? Well, what I'm saying is because the friends are going to get the big oh. They're going to fall out. Oh. They're going to be asking you for money or trying for to flirt? I've been through that. I've been through that. Or, try, yes. or trying to flirt with him? Yes. Okay. Got you. So I'm going to be able to trust your man squeeze girl friends. And you don't need a whole bunch of girls. And I wouldn't have no big fancy wedding. I had a big fancy wedding, but I had no 15 bridesmaids. I had one girl. Mm -hmm. One. Who knows? Did you see my wedding? Yeah. On the yacht, I, you know, I got married on the yacht too, and I only had one bridesmaid. You had one too. Yep, on the yacht in Kima. You got married on the yacht in Kima too. Yes. And how many bridesmaids did you have? One. Exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, we saved no, the no, money for lying. other stuff. No, are, you, are you serious? I'm serious. Like, if you go and look through my pictures on Facebook, you'll probably see a couple pictures of. My yacht, uh, it's not my yacht, but you know, the rental yachts you rent and they do, the captain does the, um, the you know, the wedding, they have the food, we had cake and everything, the reception and the DJ was on board. Yep, so, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Renee married me though, Renee married me though. Perfect. Oh, she did? Perfect. <laughs> yes, Renee married me. <laughs> That's nice. You, you, know, know, rest, you know, you know the rest of that story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renee married me though, Renee married me though. Uh, that's a good. That's a good way to get married. <laughs> and that's a perfect way. And that's a perfect way. Yeah. Then I had one at her house. Then I had one at her house. Prior to that one. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you made sure you was gonna get what you want. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um. No, you did not. I can't do that. Letitia. I cannot do that. And I let girls. I'm telling y'all. If you had a big fancy wedding, you gonna have a grand opening and a grand closing. <laughs> I think simple is better when it comes to weddings. Yes, all that fifteen girls and everybody has different personalities. I'm a Pisces. I'm already a personality different. It's myself by myself. I don't need to be. Oh, I can't come. I'm jealous. I'm I, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been bridezilla, but I know right. I cannot do it. And the good thing about a yacht is they give you a limit. You can only invite yes. this many people, yes. and that's it. So you got to pick your yes. closest people and that's it. <laughs> I didn't know about your wedding. I didn't know about your business because I didn't want to know about you. Yeah. You gotta pick, if, they tell us that, if you get married, you find out who is for you and who is not for you and you do not need to get married to him in the first 48. Right. You learn him. All the skeletons. Right. Learn, learn. Like I dated my husband five years before we got married. Thank you. You're a Pisces. I did the wife. Oh, 2009 and to last year. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> when I saw that you married him, I was like, yes. Because I remember when I first did your reading, I was like, yeah, you need to stick with him. <laughs> you did. You did. You said that. You don't did, you told me that. You don't did, give him up. <laughs> I said, I'm Yeah. 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 I know. I like. I loved your dress. I didn't put my dress on either. It was so pretty. That pink and that blue. Yes. Yeah, so. 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 And everybody think that I had got my stuff made. I did not get nothing made. I got a good house. I'm in a fashion. I'm in a fashion world. I went to a bride store. I didn't go to the original bride store. I went to a boutique model store, and mm -hmm. I got a high low dress. Kind of front, knowing the back. Mm -hmm. That was my business. I had no business. That's how I get married. I see it on pictures. I go through pictures a lot. And I've seen this right. I thought, what business like that? She had one. And then this was the same week of my wedding. I didn't have no shoes. I've been out this is the ninth hour. I didn't have no shoes, right? Mm -hmm. I went to, I told them, I went to Marshall, Confound, the eye for the shoes. Then I went to um, Dillard. Mm -hmm. I think I ended up in Mason, but I did with all my shoes from there. On mm -hmm. the center rack. <laughs> Do you hear me? Wow. Yes. Carlos Santana, on the center rack. Carlos Santana. Everybody, everybody would think that I put, everybody would think I got that made. I did not have to alter everything. The shoes, you know, I said, 
say, go figure out the shirt on the back, please, please, please. The colors of my shoes were the same shirt around my dress. I know, I saw that. You know, I, I yeah, thought you I, had it made, I, I, too. I did it to my sister. Just, like, sis, I did, I did not get nothing made. Nothing was made. I love your colors. Yeah, my dress was so pretty. Oh, my dress was so pretty. <laughs> but, it was a beautiful wedding. And, you know, we, we, our anniversary is July 23rd. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. It's so, coming up. I'm going to go to the casino. Oh, uh, casino is good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I just played the slot machines. Yeah, that's how we play too. It we drinks for free. <laughs> well, you know, I, that's good, and I, I bet, like, I like how you keep it real. You could joke with him, and y'all could yeah. fight, and then make yeah. up, and you know, endure the hardships. But you had your goal in mind, and you got what yeah. you wanted in life. Like, you live in your dream. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Me a couple hours. Right. If you live in a state, you know, me a couple hours. I'm just talking about the business. I thought I get five hours. That'd be enough for me just for the month. You know, about a house a year. What if somebody, how do you react when somebody calls you a gold digger? Like if they say, oh, she's just a gold digger. Uh, I say good answer. <laughs> good answer. You proud of that? Me too, right? Yeah, I say, yeah, like, shit, if you can do it, you do it too. Like what else so am I going to dig? I not know what I'm saying to that person. And so I got a lot of jealousy in my hometown. Population 200. A right. lot of jealousy. I bet you do. I mean, and, and it was hard for me to deal with it. Because I'm going to lash out to everybody. But you know what? I let it roll off out of my back. I said, because y'all still miserable. And I'm still claiming the ladder. Because <laughs> I got another business that's opened up called The Client. When I could do personal styling. Ooh, they close women sweet. at NASA Space Center. I love like I love your style. I think that would be the perfect new business, of course. A lot of women need help styling themselves because they just yeah. they just don't know how they you know, how they're supposed to dress for their body type, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to business with a, a lady, she's a hairstylist. So we're gonna do we got the hair cover and we got the outfits that I cover. So we're gonna do a photo shoot about another thirty days or something like that. I thought we were going to do black and white, like pretty white top and pencil skirt. That's going to be cute and pump. Yes. So I want to say that, you know, a lot of people will marry, get money, and just sit around. You got married, made businesses, and made more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you keep doing yeah. more. And, and see, that's just a problem. That's not a problem women do when they get married to people with money. They don't open up their own business. They don't, get that, they don't have their own identity. They're too busy at the Louis Vuitton store, at the Google store, trying to keep up with the Joneses. No, that's not the way to do it. No, you don't. Right. You open up a business and open up something that you is in your heart for, not just because she quit doing it. No. So that you know whatever you think you can do, because everybody's trying to open up boutiques. Everybody can't sell clothes. Because they don't dress everybody. They're not in everybody. Right. Everybody can't sell shoes. Everybody can't sell jewelry. Mm-hmm. You know, it's something that you need to find out. So that's you your to bring some money. Yeah, that's your passion. That's what you got a knack yeah. for. And don't and do not get nobody if you can help it. No ball players. They they just look for pass by night, fly by night women. Right. Do not be be at the ball looking for the ball players. Bad Go. business. Whether they get their arm broke or their leg broke, then you then you broke. Again. Then you broke. The <laughs> money shop. Right. My husband got old money. Old money. Old money. Go for the old money. Old money. <laughs> Keyword, old money. Put it back into the family. Grab the dog. Daddy just dropped the dog for Right. So, uh, your dream. I'm going to I'm going to cut the shot. I'm sorry. No, no, I was no, just really saying. I really want to tell a young woman, and you don't have to do that much to your, you don't have to do nothing to your bodies, all them titties and booties, butts. What you going to look like when you get 65? A hot mix. <laughs> if he don't like you now. He don't like you, period. So you don't need no plastic surgery? No, don't get I don't no plastic surgery. No, I didn't get nothing. I got some long time ago before him. I got a life on surgery. That's it. Well, that don't count. My <laughs> so, yeah, I know a lot of these women get with guys with money just to get plastic surgery. Yes, and that's crazy. They be looking like plastic dogs. Look, idiots. So you that kept it. They be doing something else with that money, baby. All right. They put that money. So now your generations, you know, to come is gonna ha is gonna be paid, super paid. Yes. 
because of the so choice of man. Please don't do that. Right. Please do not do that. Right. Do not take up out of him. Because he's not guaranteed to stay with you. He's exactly. not guaranteed. Find somebody that loves you. Right. Not you love them, let them love you. Exactly. That's what I tell them. Look, make sure they like you more than you like them. <laughs> Hello, off the record, off the top. Because you can cuss them out, they can mess up, you about business, they about you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Baby, where you going? Where you come back on? Yeah. I always try to tell these ladies, look, get somebody who you look better than, who loves you more than you love them, and you going to have the life you want. That's right. Do not get the ball players. Stay out. But don't be no groupie, girl. I never was a groupie. I'm still not a groupie. I'm not a follower right now today with my money. That's up my car, me and my little TJ Maxx purse. <laughs> I bet you got more money in there than somebody with a Louis Vuitton. Hello, though. <laughs> hello. I can buy anything I want. Anything. Yes. I had a girlfriend one time. One time, we was going to pop a dose, you know, every day. Blase, blase. Her was a deep boy. Her was so good. And I'm just blowing off damn money, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. We was going every day, every day, every day. All of a sudden, she can't go no more. She started backing away from me. Well, backing up from me. But you know why? Because her money stopped. Because he got busted. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, she should have started her own business with his money. She did. did that, but it was a fake. They started boutique. That's how I met them on this little go. But it wasn't in their heart. It mm. was not in their heart. They was just doing something to cover up. Oh. You know, and they, were, they got some cute clothes. They got a good eye. A good eye. If I ever open a business doing clothes, I would let her be my buyer. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, you know, you found your purpose, your passion, and you got sponsored to do it, and you live in your dream, and that's what it's all about. I love my I love my business. I live still up there. Yes. I love my business. Yeah, I think more if more people were free to do what they loved and they had somebody to support them, you know, they would be a lot happier. You know. Uh huh. Guess what Oprah said. Oprah said, "If you do what you love, do. If you do what you love, you never have to work a day in your life." That's true. Life. That's true. You ain't gotta work a day in your life. I don't. <laughs> Like, I, I do this so I don't be getting into trouble. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, um, so I found my purpose, and you found your purpose, and, you know, uh -huh. we had help, but, you know. Yeah. And your husband's older than you, too, right? My husband is older than me, yes. yes you, well, you met him at the party. Yes, I'm standing. Yeah, that's why I believe all Yeah. How? But you support your people. You do, baby. You be on ass running at the time. Yeah. You love it, baby. <laughs> yeah. 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 When I got married, too. Okay, so how old were you when you got married to the husband you're with now? Hold on. Forty-eight. 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 Never, never too late. You don't even look that old. Yeah, forty eight because I said we ain't been married a year yet. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, forty eight. I'm too I thought you was like in your thirties. No, that he was really been malicious to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> forty eight. Okay. Even then tell me I was the oldest one he ever had. I said probably wise and one too. <laughs> right. Well Forty eight, baby, forty eight. I would never guess that. You would never guess that. Mm mm. You look very young and youthful. Oh, maybe yeah, it's because you didn't I, have I, to. I, maybe because you never I, worked today. I, 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 I can't do it. I hate. I can't do it. I used to, when I first started my business, I used to wear the heels all day, selling shoes in the heels all day. I can't do it anymore. So I don't bet. I don't let. So they give me some cute customers. Excuse me. You know. Mm -hmm. I had a male down on my business since, you know, I had to redo it. So I got to get my rejuvenate myself. Again, mm -hmm. I come on different. I'm gonna go to, go to um, um, California on my shoes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I was looking at your um Facebook and I saw a lot of cute shoes on there, but you know, them, those are some yeah, high heels. Uh. <laughs> but you know, and I'm not, and I don't uh do business on Facebook because people be oh tell me I want this and yeah. I want this so and then they be taken. Yeah. Showing up, and we gonna get showing up from this land. I feel like if they see them, they gonna want them. 
Yeah. They want them. See, yeah. it's, it's personal. Right. It's personal, though. Yes. Like, it, I got pop up on them first. I drive up on them. Yeah, they don't get them. Yeah. I've been doing it. I've, I've been flicking them. I just drive up on them. <laughs> I gotta come. I gotta come see your store. I don't have a store. Your mobile store. I come to you. That's what I'm telling you. But I come to you. You ever read it? I come to you. I have flats and that's what I wear flats. I wear I wear flats, boots, sandals, flip flops. I wear heels yeah. on occasion. <laughs> You wear heels? I wear heels when I go out. So you do wear, you, I bet you like wigs, don't you? Uh, I rather like a, a heel. Not a, a so you're not a wig girl? I have okay. like one, two pair of wigs. I have more heels. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a wig girl either. I'm not a wig girl. Why to, you say that, dog? You know she's not a wig girl. She's a white kid. They're not sexy. <laughs> You see, I have dresses I, that won't go with wedges. Like when I go out, I go out, you know. Oh, you go, I you dress know, up. Uh, I dress up. The blue jeans, so yeah, no. Yes, I, I, you know, my feet might hurt, but I know I'm gonna look good. You're the cutest. <laughs> uh, I, I, I feel like if you're gonna go out, go all the way out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And plus, man, what, what man likes? Oh, let me see a nice leg and a wedge. No, let me see a nice leg and a heel. And a heel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so <laughs> I love okay. Well, I, I want. I want you to. I want to see your mobile store. So you know wherever. Like if you ever on. You know my side of town. What? what uh, side of town you on? I'm in Katy. I'm in Katy out town. My girlfriend work out for Mason. Oh okay. Well, when you next sure. time you're over here. I'll let you know. Call me. I'll come. I'll come get. You, I'll come. Come get some shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause my flats are twenty dollars, and my heels like forty-five fifty. Okay. Yeah. But I good price. Yes, I I need some new shoes actually. <laughs> what size you wear? Eight or nine? Nine and a half. Okay, you almost like nine. Okay. Nine and a half. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's Can nice. you do some teens? Huh? Can you do some teens? I don't have no hair, so I, have I, can, I can do a ten or a nine and a half, yes. Okay, all right. So my shoes are kind of cut kind of smaller, but they're like tens, right? Oh, I could probably do a ten if they run small. Yeah, they do. They run small. I, I'm tall, oh, so I have big feet. <laughs> no, your people, not, you know, they call me five twelve. I said twelve, baby. You, are you see? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but the other, the other, the other, the other, the other, Oh wow! Yes, <laughs> I can't keep. If you ain't buy, if I sold nine, ten, eleven, if I sold nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I'd be more tired. <laughs> right. Literally. Well, yeah, well, I I want to buy some shoes. So the next time you're over okay. here, I'm always at home. Y'all, you just text me or whatever. I'm gonna be on Mason Road and I'll come find you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll be by that Louisville. Is that Mason Road? She's by that Louisville. Louisville or Mason? Yeah. What I'm saying, yeah. She's yeah. right there, but she's doing a salon at a park. Oh, okay. I know I know exactly where that is. That, by that Starbucks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's what she is. Okay. All right, well, all right, baby. I love you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and I'll send you a copy of the video. But thank you okay, for sharing you. your story. I appreciate it. Okay, huh? All okay, right. Thank you.